Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Brandy Joan. I make a lot of sewing and DIY content. And today I'm going to be showing you how to sew up my Chamberlain sweater pattern. You can get it linked down below in the description and that's pretty much it. So let's get to it. To make this pattern, you'll need a ruler, tape for taping your pattern pieces together, and paper scissors to cut them all out. For the garment itself, you're going to need one and a half yards of stretchy knit fabric. For this tutorial, I'll be using a rib knit. You'll also need matching thread, a rotary cutter or scissors to cut your fabric, and pins or clips. Before printing out your entire pattern, you want to print just the first page and make sure that the test square to the right measures two by two inches. Make sure that you're printing your pattern at 100% scale or actual size. Once that measurement checks out, you're ready to start taping your pattern together. Start by folding or cutting the right-hand margin of your first page. Then overlap it over the left-hand margin of the second page. Make sure that the pattern lines and the diamonds at the middle and the edges of the pages line up correctly. Once everything is lined up properly, you can tape or glue those pages in place. Then all you have to do is repeat that step with the remaining pages and make sure that when you get to the second row of pages that you trim the bottom of the top row off so that way they overlap properly. When you finally have all of your pages taped together, you can cut out each individual pattern piece. You should have a center front piece that you're going to cut on the fold, a center back piece that you're also going to cut on the fold, a sleeve that you want to cut mirrored, you can do so by cutting one pattern piece the way it should be, flipping it over and cutting another. And your top frill, you're going to cut this one on the fold and you're going to cut two. Once you have all of your pattern pieces ready, you can start cutting your fabric. Remember that it's important to cut all of your notches when cutting out your pattern because that's going to help you line up your pieces correctly. Okay, so now that we have all of our pieces ready, we can get to sewing. Start by placing your back piece onto the table with the right side of the fabric facing up. Then lay the front piece onto the back piece with the right side of the fabric facing down so that way the right sides of the fabric are together. Then sew them right sides together from the armhole all the way to the hem. Now bring your sleeves over and fold them in half so the right sides are touching and sew them together along the inner seam. Now you should have the body of your shirt and both of your sleeves sewn up. So the next step is to sew them together. To do so, we're going to start by lining up the seams on both the sleeve and the body, pinning them right sides together. Once that seam is lined up properly, be sure to match all three notches on the front and the back of the sleeves and the bodice as well. Once you have all of that pinned in place, be sure to check again that you have all of your notches and the seams lined up correctly. There are two back notches, one seam, and one front notch. As you can see here, the top hem should create a straight line. Sew those both in place. Now, place one of your top frills onto the table with the right side of the fabric facing up. Place the other top frill on top of the first one with the wrong side of the fabric facing up. Then sew them right sides together along the side seams. With both the body and the top frill inside out, we're going to insert the body into the top frill. So that way the wrong side of the body is touching the right side of the top frill. While doing so, make sure that you're lining up the notches on the sleeves with the seams on the top frill. Then sew all the way around that neck opening using a half inch seam allowance. So as you can see here, the top frill seam is going to look like it's on the wrong side of the fabric because all of the seams are showing, but that is actually what you want. It's supposed to look like this. That way, when you turn everything right side out, the raw edge will be on the other side, but it will be encased when you turn the top frill down. To hem the top frill, we're going to use a half inch seam allowance. And because this is a knit fabric, you can just fold it up by an inch and hem it, or you can fold it by a quarter inch, then by another three fourths. If you have an issue with your fabric bunching at this point, you can use a walking foot or sew it by hand. Now, all that's left to do is hem the bottom of the shirt and the sleeves. For these, we're going to use a half inch seam allowance. So fold it up and hem it or 
fold it by a quarter inch, then another quarter inch. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.